Hey, good morning. It's uh, March 5th. I think, I think it's March 5th. Anyway, I'm up in uh, the orchards. I ran up here to feed. Got a couple of totes of syrup. The weather's been kind of terrible and, you know, it's kind of raining right now. I came up last night. I, I fed a couple hundred colonies last night. I want to try and finish it today. Rain or shine. It's, uh, it looks like it's not raining as bad over the orchard which is a good good sign, but rain or shine, I'm gonna do it, so that's where I'm at today. All right, so this is what we're looking at. Most of them are looking pretty decent, but you could tell that they were bringing in nectar and then it, it shut off, because, well, essentially the rain and the cold weather. But for the most part, they're getting there. I'm glad I came up to give them this little feed because the forecast is not looking great. I don't know if they'll have sunny weather until they're uh, released, but we'll see. This is a good drop right here. There's some smaller ones on this pallet. But as you go on, they get quite a bit bigger. If they can get some nice weather and fly, they'll be even doing even better. It's a nice day in the almond orchards. they're starting to fly now and they're only looking better it's a pretty good set right here they're really going after that syrup it's kind of a shame there's this orchard full of bloom but it's been so cold and icy that the bees haven't been able to fly and collect it but it's nice right now and they're starting to get going. I'm still going to supplement them with this syrup because the 10 day outlook up here isn't looking too good for the weather. It's rain, cloudy, rain, 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 and more rain. That's how the way it goes. Here's another really good set. It was raining for a minute, and then it stopped and the sun's out and the bees are flying again. I'm almost out of syrup, which is a problem. I might stay one more night and run over to Bakersfield and grab some more so I could finish off the orchard as much as I can. Woo, still going. All right, I'm all done. Now I'm kind of going through and messing with this little thing. The oxalic acid vaporizer. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand.
pretty cool anyway but tomorrow I'm gonna go buy a, some more syrup and put a little bit more in and I'll call it a day we'll see you then all right it's the next day March 6th a beautiful day in the almond orchards the bees are flying We're working these flowers pretty good. If I can get it to focus up, oh, by the time I do, they fly off. You can see there are some buds that haven't opened yet. Maybe these are new buds after the cold weather. But anyway, I ran up and I filled up the tanks today. Straight syrup, and now I'm feeding because there's some more cold weather on the way. As you can see, the bees are looking pretty good. This is my, my setup, my little step I got going on here. And that's how I do it. The syrup's coming out a little slow today because I don't have it mixed with any type of water. It's just straight syrup and I really wasn't in the place to mix it. And I figured it'll be good for these bees. So, Although they look good, if you lift them, you can tell some of them are kind of light. Not these ones. These ones are probably pretty heavy. It's going to really help them out just getting it. It'll keep them brooding up when the when the weather turns crappy here in a, a few days. But as you can see, they're flying really well. We finally got a nice nice break. So I'm gonna put this phone down so I can keep doing what I'm doing. And I'll see you on the other side. All right, I'm done in Wasco. I fed all the bees. I only came up here to kind of go through some and medicate a little for mites, but uh, I had a couple of totes sitting around, so I decided to bring them because I heard word that the bees might get a little light. It's the first time I've ever fed in, uh, in the almonds. Usually they come back pretty heavy, but I have had some years where they didn't. So I came up here to do that and I thought, you know what, I'll just go ahead and feed everything. So I drove over and got some more syrup and I'm kind of glad I did. Most of the bees, they look really good and they're coming along and there's still a lot of bloom to go here, but the weather is predicting kind of crappy the next few, few weeks until they're essentially out of here. Kind of got to talk over the spray rig across the street, spraying probably fungicide. middle of the day anyway I got a six six or seven hour drive ahead of me so I'm out of here I'll see you in a couple of weeks bees when you're done